Hello and welcome, gorgeous Capricorn, to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how Spirit speaks directly to you, of course. You might see a sign or a symbol, a message that really stands out to you. That is a message direct from Spirit to your situation or an answer to your question, perhaps. Let's take a look at your first two cards. We have... We have number 20, create family balance. The ties that bind also free, create family balance. There's something happening in your family situation, your family dynamic. Maybe it's with one person in particular, but something is out of balance and it's about creating, creating equilibrium in this relationship. So that's a focus for the week ahead that spirits bring through is important. Maybe it's important to wait for a solution. Instead of rushing ahead, maybe it's important to relax and then it will appear. That's the message from spirit here. Relax and then it shall appear. There's going to be a great blessing that comes through to you and, and this situation that um, you've been wanting to push forward ahead um, but maybe you've been blocked you know maybe there hasn't been a way forward and you're being forced to wait relax take rest you have to trust and have faith in the divine now it could be connected to this family card here or creation of some kind maybe you have a creative pursuit that you are uh, that you have a block or you know you need to wait for a solution to appear. Uh, so I do feel either family or some kind of creative endeavor, some kind of uh, tie that you have. Maybe it's a commitment as well. I do sense that for someone. There's a commitment. Let's see what this deck reveals for you. Okay, so we have the card of speaking out. Your voice is released. Express yourself frankly. So you're not in some situation here. You are not. Um, you're not expressing yourself freely. Perhaps you don't feel like you can. Maybe it's a choice. Maybe you've been holding your tongue. Whatever's been going on. Spirit is advising you this week to actually speak out to release your voice and to express yourself in a in an open, honest and frank way. And we have the card of stories. So this might indicate um, and see how this resonates for you. But, you know, there might be some journaling or story writing or, um, cre you know, it does tie back into this creative pursuit as well. So, you know, it might be... Um, um, you know, jotting down things that you want to create in your life. It could be a manifestation board. You know, this could be something like this. Place the energy where it fits for you. Mm. But there's the act of writing or the act of stories, um, story writing or a story. You know, I do also see here in communication. I also see news, a story. Someone's telling you a story. That's what I'm getting, actually. Someone is telling you a story. Mm. Uh, maybe it's a memory of the past, actually. And it says here, I leave you the memory of healing tales. So someone's telling you a story. It's going to kick off some memories. Maybe also some healing will come into play as well. Very interesting. Let's take a look at this deck. Guidance for Capricorn, please. Okay, let's take a look here. Stand true in your heart and claim your path. I am strong, I am true, I am free to be me. That's the affirmation. I stand uh, stand true in your heart. So listen to your heart. You know what you need, you know what you want. Um, there's a truth 
there's a resonance in your heart. There's a message in your heart that spirit is asking you to truly listen to. And you will claim your path or your path forward. You will claim your, you'll have illumination or understanding toward your next steps. Balance your worlds. Big projects are ahead for you. Time is on my side. I have all the space I need. So yeah, there's going to be maybe more space that's needed. Or that you're moving toward more space. Hmm. Big projects or big changes are going to happen. This is a blessing, real blessing, Capricorn. I do feel there's a blessing it might be associated to this uh, for your home environment. We do have that family element coming in here um, or your personal relationships. Um, there's going to be an unexpected turn to grace. You know, there's going to be an unexpected blessing uh, that will sweep you off your feet. Um, time is on your side. You don't have to worry about time. Things will happen in their right timing. You will have all the space you need as well. So that could be something going on in a relationship. Maybe if you're looking for office space, workspace, alone time space, you know, uh, see how this resonates for you. But you have all the space. You will have all the space that you need. Big projects are ahead. It's uh, connected to waiting for a solution. So relaxing and not forcing things will help this um, come to fruition. Guidance for Capricorn, please, Spirit. Let's see what we have here. Yes, exactly. Change and transition. That's what I'm feeling here with this card. There's a big change. There's a big blessing that's going to come into your life. Oh, that is already coming in. That will um, move you forward in a positive way. And it says here, thank you, Azriel, for leading me safely through this change. So you don't have to feel daunted by the change. You know, um, maybe even speaking out or speaking your truth is in fact going to um, usher in this change in some respect. Yeah, you've got balance coming up a few times in this read, actually. Maybe something's out of balance in terms of your health, or your finances, or yeah, health or finances, maybe. Um, I do pick, I'm picking that up. Thank you, angels, for bringing me, or for bringing my life into balance, or bringing me into balance. Um, there is definitely, there is definitely a need for fairness, justice. This is Libra as well. You may have a Libra in your life, perhaps, but fairness, justice, balance, mm, connected to speaking out and connected to communication or stories in some way. Very interesting. Okay, let's take a look here at this deck. The Ace of Summer, a beautiful card of new beginnings, especially uh, emotional new beginnings. Open your heart to love. The beginning of a new intimate relationship or the birth of a current one. The awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual epiphanies. Beautiful. Wow, we got the ace and then the two. So there's definitely going to be some kind of attraction to someone or something that you love. It might even be falling in love or making a serious commitment to someone. Forgiveness and the resolution of a problem. So that's, you know... If there's a problem in a relationship, don't give up. Your relationship can be healed, but maybe communication, speaking out is important here. The Queen of Autumn is a female feminine energy that's significant in your life. Um, they are quite grounded. They are often older as well. Um, could be a boss figure, um, but it might also be a family member here. Uh, be practical with respect to how you proceed. The ability to make anything more beautiful and meeting someone who can help your dreams come true. So it's going to be a feminine, female energy. Someone a little bit older. Yeah, may help. they will help make your dreams come true in some way. Um, and in some way, it looks like it's going to be with um, communicating, talking to them. That's part of it here. Um 
you know, not superficial communication. This is uh, deep and meaningful, really understanding each other. Walk away from dishonest associations. Well, I mean, I want to see this and I do see this queen as someone helpful to you. But because it's actually coming up next to the five of winter, I will say for someone, this is a female feminine energy that you need to walk away from because they're being dishonest with you. So walk away from dishonest associations, realizing that what you thought you wanted isn't the best choice for your happiness and something that's not worth the effort. The six of summer, children or childhood may come into focus for you. Uh, the return of people or romances from your past, remembering events differently in a better or worse light than how they really occurred so we have some past events coming to the surface maybe to talk about you know maybe there's a female feminine energy here that you're communicating with about the past the empress look this is the mother energy so it might be a mother that you're speaking to this queen could be a mother symbol uh, time to take action the power of creativity so going back to the very first card here it's about creating um, creating family balance but creating in general what do you want to manifest the power of creativity is yours this week success that allows for a life of luxury so I was feeling you know finances or or health maybe need to come into balance um, whatever needs fairness and equilibrium here uh, you're going to have that success with the power of creativity and taking action Hmm. Okay, let's take a look at the pendulum. If you have a question you'd like to ask spirit through the pendulum, you are welcome to think of that question now. The answer is yes, and so check in with your intuition. See how this resonates for you. It's okay if it resonates, it's okay if it doesn't. You can trust your own instincts. It's been wonderful to read for you today. Take care, stay blessed, have a wonderful week, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.